What's going on, man? This your boy, CC Rod, taking that ass 27, coming at you as well in that motherfucking video, man. What's going on, Falcon Nation? What's going on, Falcon fans? If you're new to the video, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. What's going on, Falcon Nation, man? I'm going to I'm bring y'all a some bring y'all a little something different today, man. I'm going to be reacting to this video. This Carolina Panthers fan, he's a uh, YouTuber. He talked about his Carolina Panthers uh, I came across this video yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I came across this video yesterday. I clicked it on for 10 seconds. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hold on. Pause right there. I want to react to this video tomorrow. And um, I'm going to see what he got to say, man. I'm going to see what he going to be talking shit or or what. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Keep Pound Underscore TV. I'm your host, El Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. And today we're here to start a new mini series called Why I Hate. And today's team I hate is the Atlanta Falcons. But one quick question before we get started Do you love the Carolina Pause right there. Already hating. Already. Ain't even 10 seconds in the video already hating on the Atlanta Falcons, bro. Why everybody got to hate on the Atlanta Falcons? Why? Are we that popular? Huh? Are we that damn popular? Everybody got to hate on the Atlanta Falcons? You know what I'm saying? I know we got a little swaggy P. You know what I'm saying? We, we swagged out and everything. We got a new stadium and all that. You ain't got to hate on me. You ain't got to hate on us because y'all got that old-ass stadium. Oh, that old-ass uh, Gillette Stadium. You ain't got to hate. I understand, though. I understand. For a second of all, man, I'm going to be pausing through this video so I won't get no copyright strikes. Man, y'all already know what it is. So let's go ahead and get into it. Panther like I love the Carolina Panthers. Yes? No? Do you love the Carolina Panthers? If you love the Carolina Panthers, give it that. Give it that. Today, I'm... No doubt. Nigga, we ain't getting you no doubt. We don't like no Carolina Panthers. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? I'm going to tell you why. I despise. No joke. No lie. The Atlanta Falcons. Let's get into it. So we're going to start this thing off backwards, y'all. Number three, the third reason why I hate the Atlanta Falcons is the same reason why I love the Atlanta Falcons. Super Bowl 51. Those guys blew a 25-point lead. Stop it right now. Oh, my fucking God. Are we back on this again? Are we back on this Super Bowl shit again, brother? Huh? Damn. How long has this Super Bowl been? Three years. Man, this Super Bowl was three years ago, almost three years ago, and y'all still talking about the same shit. I know we lost the Super Bowl. I know. I know. Damn. Shouldn't no Falcon fan, shouldn't nobody be on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Everybody who represents the Atlanta Falcons should just be like Thanos and fucking uh, Avenger. <laughs> Snap this shit. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Check this out. The equivalency of blowing a 25-point lead it's like you taking all your paycheck playing Lalo. You go play Lalo, you strike it for a million dollars, right? Yeah, you're happy. Next day, you take that million dollars, you blow it black on Lalo, now you're broke because you win nothing. That's the equivalency of blowing a 25-point lead. Who does that? How do you do that? I don't know. They're an embarrassment to the NFC. They're an embarrassment to the NFC South. Wait a minute, nigga. Did this nigga just say we're an embarrassment to the NFC and the NFC South, nigga? You better be glad the Atlanta Falcons are in the NFC South, nigga. Okay. Without us, there's no Carolina Panthers, man. Without us. We make we make y'all. Okay? We make y'all. We the best thing that first second of all. We the we the we one of the best teams in the NFC South. We the best thing smoking right now. Okay. Found this clown, man. And personally, if you look on your screen, I got a petition up here. The Buccaneers and the Falcons gotta go. Get them the fuck out of here. Send them to the CFL. Okay. But they gotta go. CFL. There's no way they can represent a professional team, you know, playing like that. And listen, ah, oh, yes, 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 you right there. Hate it back there. Hate it back there. Okay. Guess what? Okay. Yeah, Cam Newton didn't jump on the ball during the Super Bowl. Y'all didn't get past 10 points in the Super Bowl. Check this out. We were going up against one of the best divas of all time. Don't believe me, check the stats. I'm talking about 
It don't matter you going up one of the best defense of all time. It don't matter. Okay? You had Cam Newton coming off an MVP season. He was throwing strike after strike after strike. I mean, he was like Cam Newton was lighting it up on the field. And that's your excuse? Because they had a better defense than y'all? That's an excuse? Y'all didn't score number 10 points in the game. Okay. Up there with the Giants defense, the 2000 Giants defense, the the, the, the Ravens defense, the old, the old, old, old Ravens defense. I'm talking about the Buccaneers defense. I'm talking about some of the elitist defense of all time. Statistically, them niggas represent the same almost, if not close enough, all right? So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's excuse, but it's kind of exceptional excuse. Blowing 25-point leads to a defense who, uh, last time I checked, the Patriots defense weren't, um, well, they no goddamn all-time greatest defense, okay? Y'all choked. Y'all choked the fuck out. And that's the one the reason why I hate the Atlanta Falcons. Pause right there, real quick. Okay. We choked. We choked heavily. We blew a 25-point lead at half. Okay. So what, that makes y'all better than us? No, nigga. Y'all still at the bottom of the NFC South right now. Okay. So let's get that straight right now. Number two. The second reason why I hate the Falcons. Overrated. Over. Check this out. Matt Ryan in his 11 year career only won three division titles. And none of them were back to back to back. But I do know one team who won one. Hmm. Let me see. That's right. The squad. Check this out. Matt Ryan. Won. The squad. The squad. Bro, it don't matter. Y'all won three NFC titles. Back to back. It don't matter. Have you, have you won three Super Bowls back to that? Back to back? That what matters. Okay. Overrated? You think we overrated? Look, Matt Ryan is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFC South. You wish had you wish Cam Newton had the season that Cam that uh Matt Ryan had. Okay. Matt Ryan might not be the most athletic guy, but Matt Ryan has a way better arm than Cam Newton. No cap, man. You wish you had half the talent we got on our Atlanta Falcons squad. Okay? Come on, man. Always be a quarterback that can throw 4,000 yards. Hell yeah, he'll throw for 4,000 yards, make a Pro Bowl and all this shit. But, hey, his name is Matty Ice for a reason. That's a great name, by the way, because Ice melts. And guess what? He melts against competition that he shouldn't melt against. Shut up. First of all, you don't know nothing. Okay? You don't know nothing about Matt Ryan. So don't even talk about his nickname, okay? His name is Matty Ice because in big situation, in big time games, he comes through. 50 seconds left on the clock, fourth quarter. We need a touchdown. Matt Ryan delivers, okay? That's why they call him Matty Ice. Get your facts right, brother. Yes. Another thing about Matt Ryan, here recently, my man struggled to find, quote-unquote, the best receiver in the end zone. How do you do that? How do you have the, quote-unquote, and I'm, I'm saying this for a reason, quote-unquote, best receiver in the end zone? He had eight touchdowns last year. Oh, yeah, let's give him a clap. Last year he had three. Check this out. While we're talking about Julio Jones, let's move on to Julio Jones, quote-unquote, the best receiver in the, in the NFL. Let's take a look at his numbers. Julio Jones has never had... 10 or more touchdown reception in his career. <laughs> but, he, but he the best receiver in the NFL. Okay, check it out. Antonio Brown had four. Four seasons of 10 plus touchdown. But, but you're right, you're right. He's the best receiver in the NFL. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, check it out. You damn right he's the best in the, you damn right he's the best wide receiver in the game in the NFC South. He's the best wide receiver in the game right now. Over Antonio Brown. Over Odell Beckham Jr. Okay? And who do y'all got? Who do y'all got that has over a hundred, uh, over a thousand receiving yards, over ten receptions? Who your running back, Luke Kuechly? Who? That's it. Come on, bro. On top of that, my man injury prone. My man stayed with the with the hurt toe. Overrated. Bottom line, they're overrated. Oh yeah. Speaking of overrated, um. Defense win championship. Well, guess what? Matt Ryan hasn't had one since his ass joined the team. Check this out. Since Matt Ryan joined the team, 
The defense has been 22nd in passer rating allowed, 26th in completion percentage allowed, 26th in yards allowed, 27th in total yards allowed, 30th in passing yards allowed, 30 seconds in sacks, 32nd in third down conversions allowed. Overrated. Number one. The number one reason why I hate the Atlanta Falcons. Because of you. That's right, the fans. You guys are so fake. Y'all so fair weather. Look on your screen right here. This is after a... The only reason I hate the Carolina Panthers is that cat on your head. Take that cat off your head, boy. Look, first of all, the Atlanta Falcon fans, the Atlanta Falcon fan base is great, by the way, okay? We have a wonderful fan base. You know what I'm saying? It's it's great over here. We good. Okay. Yeah, we might have lost the Super Bowl. That hurt us for a couple of months. But we good now. We're in a better place. You know what I'm saying? And um Yeah, man. Super Bowl loss. Now you should be glad your fucking team made it, but look. Look how they look how they treat it. Look how they respond. <laughs> Atlanta's nothing more than a fucking party city. You know, if something's going on, the people jump on it. If nothing's going on, they forget about it. Fair weather fake fans, this date back all the way to where they were pumping sound and boom, 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 pumping sound into the stadium. Nobody cares. Atlanta's just a place to party, okay? Nothing less, nothing more. Hey, I can walk all day downtown with Falcon, and I mean, not Falcon, but Panthers gears on. Nobody's gonna say shit. I'll mention. You got to be shitting me. I wish, nigga. What? I wish you. Man, come to that Mercedes Benz Stadium. Come downtown with that Panthers, with that Panthers cat on your head. With that Carolina's Panther jersey on. Come down there and see what happened. Come down there. Go ahead. Try your look. You will get demolished, son. No cap. And I'll mention this later on, but I went to one city with Carolina gear on. <laughs> Almost got accosted. <laughs> and that's the kind of shit I like. I like a good fight. But, you know, it wasn't the, it wasn't Atlanta. You know what I mean? <laughs> it wasn't Atlanta. So, yeah, man, fair weather fans. Don't deserve a team. Don't appreciate a team. Don't support the team. And, and that pisses me off. But they had the mouth to come on there. Or they come on Facebook. They go on Instagram. They come out in the media, whatever. Uh, fuck that rise up. Rise up. Rise your ass up out of the city. Go donate your team to the CFL. And that's the one the reason why I can stand on my Falcons. Get in the comment section. I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this, I'm done with this video, man. Um, it's bloody crazy, man. <sighs> Tell me what y'all think about this video, man, because he, he really getting on my nerves right now. You know what I'm saying? He's really getting on my nerves right there, right now. And um, tell me what y'all thought about this video, man. Tell me what y'all thought about this reaction. And they still got that old ass Gillette Stadium down there. They, they going to hate. You know what I'm saying? Because we the best. We the best. How DJ Khaled said, we the best. Okay. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. That's all I got for y'all today, man. This your boy CC Rod taking that ass. 27 my holiday child in a minute. Holla.